A new way to go to the pictures. Put on a set of goggles, some headphones, and you're in Africa. Learning about how poaching is decimating the rare white rhinoceros. They're all around and seem very real, so real that when it was over, I actually checked both sides to make sure there were only virtual rhinos. I could see in the way that you were experiencing this piece and in the way that a lot of other people at Tribeca were experiencing it that, um, you know, my co-director and I have kind of a firm hand. Like, I can tell where you are in the experience based on where you're looking. This is the virtual arcade at this year's Tribeca Festival in New York, a serious attempt at a major film festival to expose audiences to virtual reality, VR for short. All right, so I'm going to give you this headset. Um, and it's not just aspiring or experimental filmmakers either. Eric Darnell directed Madagascar, a 2005 feature-length cartoon that earned more than half a billion dollars. His VR short film drops the viewer right into the middle of an animated and somewhat cute alien invasion. After doing five features, uh, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do next. I kind of knew I wanted to do something different. And when I put a headset on and saw VR for the first time, that did it for me. There are VR documentaries here too. This is Kanju, which explores Africa, looking for people struggling to make changes in business, government and art, showing them in a vastly different way than traditional non-fiction filmmaking. That's what virtual reality is all about, according to the director. I think it is going to be the merging of not only traditional storytelling techniques, but computer science and engineering, as well as adding in this interactive element. Whether you choose to be part of an interactive story or not, we're rewriting how stories are written. It really is early days for this type of filmmaking. The big question is whether film goers, and lots of them, are willing to put on cumbersome headsets, swivel their necks back and forth, and even risk disorientation or motion sickness just to watch the latest blockbuster. Just looking at how filmgoers are reacting here, maybe people are ready for a whole new different experience when they go to the cinema. Daniel Lack Al Jazeera at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York.